You remember Electra the character? You remember that she has her own movie? You don't want to watch the movie. You want to watch this review instead. It's a waste of your time, but this review isn't if you want to know more about Electra the character. I'm in Salad and I saw Electra. It is directed by Rob Bowman, written by Zach Penn. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. When this movie first came out, I heard that a lot of people hated it. And I'm here to see if it still sucks, like people remember, or if it's pretty good. Well, this movie starts and we're following Electra, as she's not Electra right now. She's a little bit before Electra. This is actually a prequel movie to Daredevil. I think she only becomes Electra when she becomes revived. And her master's like, oh yeah, I gave you the gift of life again. You're welcome. You're going to be taught these teachings or else. And so she does. She gets a bunch of ninja training and in this ninja training, she has to do a lot of killing. And the movie, I think the movie does a good job of characterization of Elektra. Characterizing her, making her a character. The plot that she goes through doesn't really make sense to me and it's hard for me to comprehend. Because I feel like a lot of this movie's plot is a lot of her going to a person... And then, oh, this person turns out to be somebody that she's against or is not liking her, and so they fight her. Or she's able to escape, and then she's going to talk to this person, and then talk to another person, and then talk to another person. And normally this would be alright in a movie structure, but the way that Elektra, the movie, does it, doesn't make sense. It's all convoluted, and it seems like it's just all pushed in there. Which is a shame, because I really want to learn more about Elektra, the character. I think there's something interesting there. From what I can gather in this movie, she's freaking mosquitoes. I wish I could go lecture against all the mosquitoes in the world. Anyway, from what I can gather in this movie, she seems to be somebody who's just against her will, resurrected. And because of this, she has to be the slave to the person who resurrected her. Because of this, because, because of this, she has so much freaking rage. She also happens to have a ton of rage towards her mom and a lot of people in her life. She's been mistreated a bunch. And because of this, she's able to escape because of her rage. So much rage. She's not able to be controlled enough. And the rest of the movie just kind of goes from there. We see a lot of Electra fighting people. I really wish there was more character development. There is a little bit bombshells of her backstory, but it's all surrounded by just so much boringness that I don't remember. I only remember the very beginning because it's the strongest point of the movie is establishing Elektra as the character. Watching this movie, very beginning, I was like, okay, I'm down. I'm interested for this concept. And then as the movie plot went on, I was just like, I can't grasp what's happening here. Literally, it's not very straightforward. It feels like Electra, the character, was let down by this movie because this movie is not very good. If it was just me watching this Electra movie and I had no other exposure to Electra, the character, I had not watched Daredevil before this. I would think that Elektra is just kind of some boring ninja chick with some past problems. Wow, cool. That's like every other ninja chick that exists in media right now. Black Widow, for example. Marvel Universe. I mean, I find Elektra the character to be more interesting than Black Widow, but this movie makes Black Widow look more interesting than Elektra. And that is sad. I think the actress did a good job with portraying Elektra, her facial expressions, and she's got the general vibe of Elektra down. The general vibe of Elektra seems to be a troubled individual who just keeps on killing because that's all she's got now. Her previous life, she freaking died and then she got resurrected. She's kind of a uh, not living a normal life. And if that theme was explored more in this movie, then I would like this movie more. But as is, this movie is not really entertaining, and it's kind of just a waste of my time. I want to see another Electra movie. Redo the movie so there's a better representation of her character in certain situations. I feel like this movie 
it attempted to establish Electra's backstory, and it did at the beginning, and then the middle parts, it just kind of muddied together. Freaking mosquito, get out of here, mosquito. I feel like I'm getting bit by all the mosquitoes out here. Electra, she appears in Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh my goodness, and so does Daredevil. They're in the void. Daredevil gets killed by Cassandra Nova in the void. And Electra's response to this, you know how in the Daredevil movie, she loves him? In this one, she makes a joke like, oh, I guess we didn't really lose the much. And that's a meta joke. It's a meta joke on the status of Ben Affleck and the actress who plays Electra being married and then divorced. And so, that's not in character at all for her. It's in character for the actress and the actor to have like a beef, but in the characters, it wouldn't make sense for her to comment that. I feel like she'd be devastated, but no. Nope, none whatsoever. She's just like, ah, who cares about Daredevil? Ah, oh, man, I really hope if there is another Electra movie that attempts to redo her characterization in a movie, that it's not characterized like this movie or frickin' Deadpool and Wolverine where she's dismissive of Daredevil death. Hmm, I told you everything about this movie. If I had size that weren't broken, I would stab myself with them during watching this movie. But of course, my size are broken. I have to get new ones. Lucky for me, I get to watch another Marvel movie. Oh boy, uh, this is a fun character experiment. If you say fun is watching a character that has potential be absolutely crushed by the plot, not making sense, and her just doing too many things that cannot be followed. It just feels like the movie just wanted to put a bunch of things. Whoever made the movie just wanted to put a bunch of things in there. Like, oh yeah, let's do this and this and this and this. I'm like, you need some sort of cohesive thread, please. That'd be very helpful. Other than that, this movie's kind of whatever. I'm not a fan. I want to see more Electra, but I want to see a better characterization of her. She has potential. Electra has potential. And this movie destroys her potential. She, they're just like, oh, who cares about this chick? I'm like, who cares? She wears this. In the movie, she doesn't wear this, but I know in the comic she does. Give me a comic accurate version. I want a movie Electra be wearing exactly I'm wearing. Because that would be hot. And it would be great. And I would cosplay the heck out of her. I got to give this movie. Oh, God, it's awful. It's a four out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one on the platform where it likes that. If you want a fast track of review, you can do that for $20 reviews at patreon.com slash ASUPresents. And if you like to help with the daily grindiness of all them daily movies, go to these links to find the way you can help with the daily grind of all them daily movies, then go here. And until next time, I'm in Sao Tsa. I'll see you later, my Sao Croutons and Baked Bits. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go on a quest to find some size because mine are broken and I need them.